Hello, it's me, the Baba Duke. What up, girl? So, I'm here working on Hajit. I'm just keeping it spooky, spooky ooky. I guess I can use my left hand for getting the colors. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're keeping it glamorous. Am I on the right layer? That explains a lot. Larry, hello, babe. How are you doing? I am late. You are not late. I haven't even been on for like three minutes. You're just on time, love. The nails are slaying. Thank you. I got this at um, Spirit Halloween. It's like a glove with nails on it. <laughs> I thought it would be funny to... Hey guys. But it's actually kind of hard. I don't know how people that wear nails do this all the time. Like I can't even, should I hold the pencil like this? Like, hey. Just hanging out and doing some art. <laughs> I guess I could show them to you fully. Um, let me turn the white light on. I think it's fun. It's just like a black glove with little nails. And they're super flimsy, like. But they're fun, and this one's gonna fall off. But we're gonna see if I can use them. I might have to take them off to work on this. I've seen some girls um, on here. I think I saw one girl with really long acrylic nails and she was using the iPad like no problem. So hopefully she has a video on how she, she does that. Maybe like this. How do you draw things with those? I don't think I can. I'm trying. We're gonna see if it works out. But if it gets too frustrating, I'm gonna take them off. I gotta take like a year to get used to that. I know, right? It's gonna be a journey. JR, hey babe. Welcome to the Teen Choice Awards. Who are you drawing? His name. <laughs> His name is Hajit. Thanks, I see the nails. Oh. Oh, these these things? Yeah, they're real. <laughs> I just can't figure out how to use it. Like this. Dami, hello, love. Welcome, welcome. We're working on Hajit, that's his name. Wondering. 
And I do have to clarify, this is a man. Just so you know. Knox, he's cute. Hey. Hey, babe. Thank you. This one shouldn't be too hard because it's just like a chest up portrait. But these nails might interfere with that. Mr. Gray Hajit. Yeah. I've never been to India. Oh, isn't TikTok banned from India? I think it is. I forgot about that. I think one of our states in the US got TikTok banned. I think it was Wyoming or Wisconsin. I had a mutual that lived in one and I think, and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> he was like going to court to like do something like him and a few like other TikTokers got together to like, I don't know do something in court to prevent TikTok from being banned from their state. And that's the last post that I saw from him. Hope he's doing good. Dommy, thanks for the follow, babe. Just looked it up. It is dang, Montana. Okay, it was Montana. Montana Mountain Man. That was his name. Montana banned it. Hopefully Utah doesn't ban it. Utah here, people try to flex that they don't have a TikTok. I'll be like, oh, have you seen that TikTok? And they'll like really proudly say, I don't watch TikTok. It's like, okay, well, damn. What do you watch on cable? The secrets were coming out. Were you silenced? Or was it? Were you silenced? I don't remember what Oprah said. Were you silent or were you silenced? But I guess it's a, where I'm from, it's a flex not to be on TikTok, but you know they're all on TikTok. But um, but I've noticed a lot of like younger, younger people don't have Instagram. Instagram, Instagram Loki has become the new Facebook. So I kind of get it. I'd be blocking family members left and right. getting used to the nails. My friend's having a birthday party and we're all supposed to dress up as black cats, so these these gloves might be a, a good investment. Only hello babe. I was wondering where you were. I just can't double tap. Nope. Oh. A little 
adjustment. Oh, maybe I'll do pinky out. That is very, <laughs> yeah, I'll do this. I just did nails too. You got your nails done? I would like I would like to see it. Or you worked on someone and gave them nails. see that? My screen just like freaked, that like scared me. I'm having like a mini adrenaline rush. What the hell was that about? That was weird. You saw that? <laughs> Am I possessed? Is my iPad possessed? I did my nails. Ooh, what did you do to them? I want to see them. I wish I could pull off nails. I have really ugly... Oh, just kidding. I can't say that. My nail beds are not... My nails have a, an odd shape to them that don't look good if I do stuff to them. I wish I could. But we're just going to fill this whole thing. Panda, mom cat is on my head and hi, babe. Mom cat, hi, mom cat, and you? Yes, your iPad now needs an exorcism. Do you guys believe in exorcisms? I feel like my old religion used to perform them, like in a way. They probably want to exercise me, but can't keep me down. Acrylics! Heck yeah, what color? Or colors? UG? Yes, you believe in... I don't know if I believe in demonic possession, but maybe I am possessed already, know what I'm saying? And I'm just like chilling with it. Yuji, hello. This smells like wonky. Only, as a Catholic, technically, yes, I believe in exorcisms. Only, you're Catholic? I didn't know that. Are you gonna make him shiny? Of course, gonna make him shiny. I don't know about Harry. Maybe just Harry around the pepperonis. But yeah, he will definitely be shiny, shiny. Born and raised, but now non-practicing. Okay. But you still believe it? You just don't practice it? Ok, 
correct? Okay. That makes sense. I was brought up pretty religious, but for some reason in my mind, I'm like, I never really like believed it. You know what I mean? I was just kind of going through the motions like, okay. It's kind of weird. I'm going to wait till I'm 18 so I don't have to do this anymore. So for me, when I stopped being religious, it was never... I didn't experience a lot of turmoil like a lot of my peers did. Like they had some existential stuff going on, but I was just like, whew, I'm out. But I still go to church every Sunday. Because I am sponsored by Christian Mingle. I always forget to say that. Boots! Hello, it has been a while. Hello, hello. Double same. Maybe I should turn, I'm gonna turn this background off because for whatever reason, this is coming off. See, that's more of the right color. The camera's trying to make it like a blue background, but it's supposed to be like, kind of like a neutral peach. So I'm just, I'm just gonna turn that off. <clears throat> have it calibrate a little. Your twin, thanks for the follow, babe. You're my twin. Are the nail are the nails just on or gloves? Oh, they're gloves. I'm gonna show you. I don't know if that helped. They're just gloves. See like this one's like flopping off. I have some super glue though. But I still wanna put them on. I always forget to go buy some for this. For my little my little art gloves. Just have the two. But they're really fun. I feel really, um, I feel high femme right now and evil, which is the goal. Sorry, I've been working a lot and I haven't been able to get a break. Ooh. I'm sorry. Hopefully you get some days off soon. Can you put nibs on their nibs? <laughs> what do you mean? Nibs on the tail? Stilettos are the best shape. That Kim Petras cover. Album art. Oh. The tip is called nib, I thought. Oh. I think I thought they were nubs. I don't even know. I think they just call them like pencil tips. But what do you want me to do with it? Nibs on your nails. Oh, like have, like transfer that. I'll just buy five um, Apple pencils and just like do this. I was wondering if you could draw with them. Yeah, that would be cool. Would be cool, would be expensive. Oh, I guess I do have like cheaper things that I could draw, but it wouldn't be pressure sensitive. Like at the dollar store, they have like um, iPad pens.
that are just like, don't need to be charged or anything. I'm sorry, I haven't done a lot of art. I think these nails are halting me. Should I take them off? So I can get crack a lacking. Stylist, that's what they're called. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be fun to just have a glove with stylus tips and just like, they need to invent that. That is your shark tank idea. My shark tank idea was flower petal salads that are um, refrigeratable, but I guess someone already did that. So, but you should roll with that one. I like to think of Shark Tank ideas. You got your nails done too? Ooh, Remy, what did you have done? French, some French tips. Or some red nails to test the red nail theory. Now every time I see a, a woman with red nails, I think that they, they're they trying the red nail theory every time. Have you guys heard of the red nail thing? Or am I just on a, am I just on like a different TikTok? Oh my gosh. What's the red nail theory? You did get red nails? Okay, so it's kind of like a Freudian kind of a thing. So if you're trying to like lock a man down or like get him to date you or propose to you, maybe this only works with non legibitiqua but if you do red nails, something about it gives off like a motherly vibe. Um because I guess a lot of our mothers in like the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, whatever, red nails are really popular, so it subconsciously makes them take you more seriously. So, something like that. Boots, hey Mitch, I'm gonna go to sleep, good night. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Boots. Doesn't the color red make you hungry? Yeah, that's what I heard. And blue is unappetizing. That's why I made my light red to make you guys hungry. I'm a Q woman, but my GF loves it, I think. Hey, hey, maybe it works. Maybe it works in Le Gibitiqua. You should ask her what color her mother's nail polish would be. Just like, hey girl, just curious. Their mother, yeah. It's like some Freudian things going on. I may be getting it totally wrong. But red nails are pretty. And I guess they do remind me of the 90s, which is not a bad thing, obviously. Like, Red Nails is, like, totally, like, 90s glam. Oh, so, like, Hefner kind of agreed. Yeah, I could see, like, Hefner being into that. Maybe, like, a lot of those, like, Vixens all had Red Nails. with the now debunked color red. Red's not a real color anymore. Oh, lipstick and nails wouldn't let the bunnies wear it because it reminded him. Oh, Oren. What a fabulous insight. 
Huh. So I guess it had the opposite effect on him. No, my mom's blue nail polish is discounted. Discounted. Get that deal. Oh, discontinued. <laughs> it's like, buy up the blue, babe. Blue nail polish. Blue nail, I like blue nail polish. So kind of the same reason in a way. Kind of the same reason. It's like ultra feminine, motherly, but like attractive I don't know I think I'm gonna research that more maybe now that I've I've said it your phone's heard me say red nail theory and it'll pop up in your on your FYPs that's happened to me before one time on one of these lives we were all talking about what kind of lives pop up on our feeds and basically every one that you guys brought up was a live that showed up on my end like the next day. So it could work. It was a really pretty, very iridescent, pearly sapphire blue. Ooh, so it wasn't just like a blue, it was like, had some extra, extra things going on. I'm sure maybe you could find it on eBay. She would love that as like a Mother's Day gift. That'd be really cute. Aubrey, hello babe. Oh, so you've seen Alex Nicole the Forager lady? No. <laughs> I forgot about that. The girl with the rose petal salad. Ah, it's Seahawk look like. Who's Seahawk? I wanna see him. Does he have a mustache? Do you know the pumpkin lady? Pumpkin lady. The girl that says, I don't like pumpkin spice. That lady? She's no longer on um, here. Oh. Well, dang. I'm sorry. Have you tried an iridescent blue on you? I would just get it for myself. At that point. Love your art and vibes. Thank you, Chickpaka. Yes, he has a mustache. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna look that up. Cause I love, I love a man with a mustache. It's okay, I look her. I took her blue. Okay, so you still have some. Okay, don't sell it. I wonder what brand it is. I did look for it and it's crazy hard to find. Okay, so you did the hunt. Remy Pumpkin Lady tripped on her kid on TT Live yesterday. It was wild. Is the kid okay? Oren Hearts, have you done Ted Lasso? I'm not sure who Ted Lasso is. Um, does he have a mustache? I think, that's, I think that's what I put on all my dating profiles. Mustache? Do you have a mustache? Mustache or not? The baby's okay. Phew. Character in a show with a great stash. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna check him out too. You should look at the Mr. International competition for inspiration. What kind of competition is that? Is that like a men's beauty? Or physique? Is it legit Hi, 
Hi, Pook. Hey, Quack. Like, imagine if Bob Ross got put in charge of sports team without knowing sports. Ooh. He might do good. Men's beauty? Ooh. That sounds fun. I'll definitely check. Is that still going on? I want to get into watching men's beauty pageants. Oh, is it drag or is it like men's? Personal personality wise, not look wise. Oh, that could still be fun. I'm still into that. It's all men. Okay. Because I know there's a lot of um, tea girl competitions, and then they also have just drag beauty pageants. I want to watch those too. It's all men. Okay. Let's bring it back. I want to I watch that. Is there a ballroom near you? Yeah, we have a, we have actually a lot of ballrooms for some reason. <laughs> A lot of event centers. There's always a wedding going on. Nope, just, ooh, less men. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be YouTubing that. Mr. International. 2023. Let's get some shading in the pepperonis. Currently using Mr. Argentina as my reference. That's where my dad served his Mormon mission. And Anya Taylor Joy is from Argentina. He must be a cutie. He's reference worthy. I wrote his name, Hajit. Thanks for the likes, you guys. You guys are really nice to me with the likes.
how did you come up with the how oh, the name Hajid? Um, someone, someone on a live, I asked them, what are some good names for Indian men? And they said Hajid. And I was like, that sounds really pretty. I'll go for that. Sometimes y'all do suggest really good names. And sometimes you don't. But I appreciate it either way. <laughs> How did the commission announcements go? They're not, it's not out yet. So on, that'll happen on Wednesday. I'm really nervous about it. but I've been putting off commissions for so long. I'm just really scared. But I think I have a, a, like a good enough following and I have enough experience to hopefully do okay. Did, no, I didn't watch interview with a, that just delete itself. It's up on my iPad. I didn't watch that. I have to re-download um, HBO Max. Dang, I forgot. Okay, this peck looks way larger than this peck. In that case, I'll make this one bigger. When in doubt, go big. 